Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. They done got some mess kicked up on the internet early this morning already. So just recently, there was a interview that was released with Michael B. Jordan on the red carpet of his, you know, movie Creed 3. And he was in an interview with a young lady. I'm not going to even say her name. But there was a lot of backlash that she received because during her grade school years with Michael B. Jordan, her and some others allegedly called him corny and teased him. Now, she said, allegedly, that, you know, oh, yeah, we were constantly picking on him. But she denied being one of the main ones who called him corny. But he kind of low-key, like, confronted her, you know. He kept it cool and he kept it classy. And he was like, oh, no, like, you know, remember, you called me corny. Like, you know, and I feel like low-key was trying to say, like, yes, you did, while she was trying to deny it. And, of course, in that situation, somebody's going to deny it. But he was pretty adamant to me about... Yes, you were right along with them, you know. And so this opened up a whole can of worms because people immediately took it and ran with it. And I knew that that's what they were going to do. Oh, this is why Michael B. Jordan doesn't date you black women, you know. And I feel like that was completely unnecessary to even attach to this situation. And again, just very disparaging. But I could see it coming from a mile away. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it all. So for one... Everybody, to some degree, or at least most people, have experienced some kind of bullying or some kind of disrespect for being different. This is something that happens to both black men and black women growing up. Black men are not the only victims of stuff like this. So it is wrong, of course, to label a young man corny just because he's not thuggish or he's not this just overly hard individual or he's not like a bad boy. It's not right to label a young man corny because he's trying to do the right thing because he believes in respecting women. Of course, it's also not okay to label a woman lame or corny or whatever because she's not being a pass around or because she's trying to get her education. She's nerdy. She's quirky. She's into anime. This is something that happens in the black community a lot with both black women and black men. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but people will get this bright idea that just because one person disrespected them or called them corny or lame or this or that, that they have the right to stigmatize all of a whole demographic into oblivion. It's ridiculous. And this is just further proof of that. The fact that there are people saying this is why Michael B. Jordan doesn't date you black women It's like saying because one person in high school, and it might have been multiple people, but we're just going to use this as an example. It's like saying one person in high school, one black girl in high school rejected you or disrespected you for trying to do the right thing, for not being a bad boy. Now you have a vendetta against all black women or you think all black women are evil and think that you're corny just because you're trying to do the right thing. You now think that that one black woman, that one black girl represents the whole of black women and that what she said to you is how all black women feel and think. That's absolutely stupid. So you now think that that one black woman sets the standard for all black women or that one black girl sets the standard for all black girls and that it is now every black woman's fault that that one black woman or whoever your mother disrespected you or abused you some woman rejected you in the store it is now every black woman's fault that that happened to you that's basically what you're saying which is very emotionally immature and unintelligent and very dangerous people love to assume things the stupidest things and they love to put words in people's mouth and every time Michael B. Jordan is out and they don't see him with a black woman. They automatically assume that it's a stereotypical reason because he doesn't like black women because some black woman did something to him and now he hates all black women. Just like the other 99% of the internet, I don't know Michael B. Jordan like that. So I'm not going to put words in his mouth or make stupid assumptions like I said. But to say that he hates black women or doesn't date black women because something some black chick did to him back in the day is to make him out to be this, like I said, emotionally unintelligent and incompetent man who will judge the entire whole of black women based off of one thing one black woman did. That makes him look stupid. So for whatever reason people keep saying that they need to stop because it makes him look bad and if that is the case which i'm not saying that it is but if that were actually the case about him 
why would anybody want to be with him anyways? If he is that emotionally unstable and that unstable in his thinking towards a whole group of people, why would anybody want to be involved with somebody like that? So again, putting those words in his mouth only makes him look bad. Now, why he hasn't publicly condemned those allegations is beyond me. Maybe he's just trying to ignore the bullcrap. But if I were in his position, I would definitely condemn those allegations. But like I said, why he hasn't is beyond me. But anyways, like I said before, the whole thing with, you know, people getting bullied for being corny or lame. It's not just a black guy thing. That happened to black women too. And I feel like people keep forgetting about that, which is why I keep making these kind of videos in these situations to remind people that that doesn't just happen to black men. I can tell you from my own experience being disrespected while I was growing up by both black men and black women for being too dark skinned, for being too thin, for not being ghetto enough, for not wanting to do stuff like sleep around and smoke and drink and do all kind of crazy stuff for having morals and self-respect, for just wanting to get my education, for being a nice girl and not fast, for being innocent, for being a virgin. But I didn't go out and say, that's why I don't date you black men after I experienced that. I was smart enough to know that they didn't represent the whole of black men and black women. Now I said all that, like I said, to remind people that this is not just a black man or black boy problem. And it does not give anybody the excuse to negatively stigmatize an entire group of people. But I guess that's too much like right for some people to do. But anyways, another point I wanted to talk about concerning this issue. First of all, not every woman and not every black woman thinks that men who are good men, and I'm talking about genuinely good men, not these men who put on facades as nice guys, but they're actually crazy deep down inside. I'm talking about genuine good men. Not every woman and not every black woman thinks that those men are corny. There are women who do want good men, good guys, nice guys, guys who want to be married, guys who respect women, guys who are not thugs and pookies and ray rays, as y'all like to call them. And I believe the reason why a lot of people, especially a lot of men, cannot find those women or don't see those women is because, again, the stigma that they have about women, especially black women, is clouding their judgment and because they are so wrapped up in social media, which I've said this before, promotes negativity and mess. It's real easy to think all women hate good guys when you see nothing but negative examples on social media and you refuse to detach and detox from that and actually get out and find women who want men like that. They're out there. They are. But between the lack of emotional maturity and intelligence that some people display, these stigmas... And what y'all see on social media, y'all got yourselves thinking that there aren't any good women out there, which is ridiculous. And the second point I wanted to mention about that, I'm not downplaying that there are plenty of women who call men corny and it's not right. I've said that before and I have nothing wrong with saying that because it's the truth. But y'all don't like to call out the men who call other men corny. And that's mighty hypocritical of y'all because there's a lot of men calling, like I said, other men corny for doing nice things for being a nice guy. Russell Wilson and Sierra are a perfect example of that. You can say what you want to about Sierra, but she has done better with her life. She's matured. She even admitted the stuff that she did, the stuff that she said, and she did better. She got herself together. She stopped doing that stuff that she wasn't supposed to do, like sleeping around and having babies for guys that, you know, weren't about to settle down with her. You know, she reformed how she thought about people. She said all of this in one of those videos she made and she did better with her life. And she met a guy who respected her, who honored her, who married her, who loved her, which is what I thought all of these people, especially with these alpha male podcasts and the red pill, I thought that that's what you were supposed to do according to them. You know, you're not supposed to be a thought. You're not supposed to sleep around. You're not supposed to have babies unlimited with, you know, guys that's not going to marry you and thugs. You're supposed to be better, do better. And that's exactly what she did whether you want to believe it or not. And she got married and she had babies within wedlock. She's doing better for herself, but she's still trash because of her past. But this guy didn't hold her past against her. He saw more than her past in her, married her, had children with her. It's taking care of the son that she had with another guy that's too much of a deadbeat to take care of his own son. But somehow, for some reason, he's still corny to all these guys. Help me understand that. So what is it now? He's too much of a good guy and that makes him corny because that's what they were saying about him for marrying her, for looking at her 
more than what she's done with her life in the past. Because all of us have done stuff just because it's not publicized like these celebrities business doesn't mean it's any less than what they've done. And just like her, we can all be redeemed and do better with our lives. And we deserve that same grace and mercy that we refuse. Well, I'm not going to say we because I don't be doing that. That some of y'all refuse to extend to these other people. But again, very hypocritical because the same people who love to complain about black women calling them corny for not being thugs and bad boys and this is and that are the same people that's calling people like Russell Wilson corny for not holding a woman's past against her and seeing more in her than these other people who just wanted to see her for every mistake that she's made and every bad thing that she's said and done and still marrying her and respecting her. So again, when these situations come up, I see it for the disrespect, for the stigma and the hypocrisy that it is. And it's exposing a culture of big babies who, as I've said multiple times on multiple videos, don't know how to handle rejection with grace and mercy. Because some of these women rejecting y'all, y'all don't need to be with them anyways. And also exposing a culture of big babies who don't know how to not let the trauma and abuse that they have sustained from other people negatively shape how they see people that they don't even know, who is not deserving of their vitriol. We have a culture of big babies that use the excuse of somebody did X, Y, Z to me to treat other people who don't know them, who don't owe them anything, don't owe them an apology because they did nothing to them, don't know anything, don't know them from a can of paint. But using that excuse to justify them then doing something to that person. You just justify your own abuse if that's the case. If that's the case, everybody who's been abused by people like you, who people who look like you, deserve to be able to abuse you too then. Keep that in mind before y'all try to justify these cuckoo ideologies. The culture, the community, and society is in the trash and only God can save it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel and what y'all think down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make like Tabitha Brown. And if you can't have a good day, don't go messing up somebody else's. Don't make somebody else's day harder. And y'all be blessed.